Hey guys, we're the ECB team and today gonna react on Eurovision 2024 entries. Let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get started. So this time it will be all about Portugal. Obrigado. Portugal will be represented by Yolanda with the emotional ballad Grito, which means shout. Uh, she won Festival de Cantal 2024. Uh, where 12 acts competed in the final itself and 20 acts in the semifinals. And let's see how this kind of grito takes every one of us. Starting with, maybe with me this time. Um, yeah, so first of all, I must confess that for me personally, Festival de Cansa was a, a little bit, even not a little bit, but weaker, much weaker than in the previous years. Like this edition didn't really grab me. Uh, it looks like it, it, it didn't grab Karen's in general, but <laughs> but yeah, like when I, you know, went over the playlist of the festival, it was an immediate love for me with Yolanda. And actually, I really hope that none of the other songs will be chosen, as sad as it is, because they're not competitive enough. That's it. Um, so, yeah, what can I say? A very emotional ballad, strong message, talks about a lot of topics. I, I see it as talking about, you know, how stable your soul can be, about mental issues, that's that's I see the song. Uh, the staging performance was captivating with all these modern dance uh, characters who wear masks, actually white uh, customers in general. She's a very good vocalist, I think we can't ignore it. And also for Portugal, fortunately, it's a good year to send a ballad because we barely have ballads this year. So I think that if you send that kind of song, probably 2024 should be somehow the right year. Um, I see it more as a jewel jury bait song. So probably Televote won't lose their mind with this song, unfortunately. But yeah, I think like still it grabs some people. Uh, okay, continue with Vani, please. Okay, so about Portugal. Um, let's start with the fact that Portugal is my favorite Eurovision country. Always so genuine, so interesting songs, very unique, living in their own world, but we love this world. Well, about the 2024 entrant Grito, uh, I will firstly agree with you, Duran, saying that uh, Festival de Cantal was very weak, very weak, and Yolanda was one of the less weak options, in my opinion. Uh, however, I'm not so keen on this song. It's a cool quality song, absolutely. She has amazing voice. The stage was very cool. The white color suited it. Uh, on the other hand, though, I think this song is slightly flat. Like, it's... I don't know, it's like... It's okay. I can listen to that. Uh, especially the chorus is good, uh, but honestly, I don't know, maybe I expected more from Portugal, actually, because I enjoyed their latest attempts way more. Uh, but, like, okay, it's a, it's a decent entry. Uh, in my opinion, it won't really stand out, though, uh, because I think Serbia, for example, is much better in the ballad section. Um... But we can see. I I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's it's cool, but nothing more for me, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Continue with Karen's, please. I agree with the um two things. Uh yes, it was weakest one of the weakest uh festival that can solve uh Editions uh, had only uh, two favorites, a Grito and uh, the second place. I forgot the name of it. Do I um, I guess? Yeah. I know your taste. Uh, second of all, thank God it didn't select the Disney song. It was so cliche. Anyway, speaking about Grito, I really love the uh, song. It's one of my uh, favorite ballads this year. It's my dark horse so far. Also, um, very beautiful uh, staging, memorable. I remember the white. Yeah, um, great song. I like. I really like it. 
last but not least, George. Well, I will agree with you guys. Um, Festival de Cantao was very weak, uh, especially in comparison to 2023 and 2022. Um, but it had one great entry, the one that was chosen, Grito. I find her um, performance captivating her voice, especially that high note, oh my God. Um, the white, it represents that you should stand out of there with your own shout, shout it out, you know? Um, so I don't think that the public won't uh, like this. I think that we love this actually. Uh, there are ballads that people can connect with, and that's one of them because it has, um, you know what, the emotions to make people connect with it. Um, uh, it's of course, it's dangerous to send a song like this, especially in only televote semifinal. But I don't know. I think they will do good this year. I hope for them. Okay, so that this is our time to show our voice and see whether we do think Portugal is going to qualify this year or not. I will bravely say yes, even though it's not like a, a trivial question. I'm just hope, to be honest, it's kind of a hope more than a prediction, but I yeah. think and hope that the captivated, uh, the captivating, sorry, performance will probably elevate it, but of course it depends on a lot of factors. I can see it really heavily relies on the running order, by the way, because it should be distance enough from Serbia, for example, but and maybe close enough to kind of an upbeat song. I don't know, and there are a lot to be honest. So yeah, it really depends on that. Vocally, I really trust her, so I see no failure here. Yeah, it won't yeah, be easy, too. but it's possible, I guess. Uh, Carlos, would you like to explain what do you think the way that you think? I don't know. Uh, if can qualify, can because it's between a uh, lot of the party songs in that semi final, so that it can be affected that factor. But I really hope uh, people will make Portugal qualify, but who knows. And it's time to give our scores. Karins, please. Eight. Vani. For me to six out of ten. George? Eight as well. Uh, for me, it's nine, actually. I even attempt myself not to give 9.5. Uh, yeah, it really touched me. The song, like, a very exciting text as well. And, you know, uh, th this is the kind of things who are... Oh, that sorry, which are important for me, uh, but yeah, like I think, there are... I think least... Eurovision needs songs like this from every country, of course, because Portugal brings Portuguese Portuguese culture. That's why we love them. We need more songs like this. We don't necessarily need only edgy, funny songs because just course, the television likes them. I mean, Mimi Cat wasn't that party song, but it was so unique, so. You know, ta she was so talented, impressive vocals. She had her own style and such, and she did awesome. So why not this year as well? I don't, I, I don't know. I would say like that Portugal this year reminds me a bit of their attempt in 2012 and 2015, uh, actually, in Eurovision. I think, I don't know, it's like this safe ballad. Not sure about them. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's wish good luck to Yolanda, who will represent Portugal. She will perform in the second half of semifinal one at Eurovision 2024. Guys, if you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel right here below. Don't forget to visit us on ecb.com, Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music, Instagram, basically everywhere. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.